We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead, and the Renown is beside us. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15 seconds to make the necessary adjustments. Ah, Captain Bullock. Captain Taggart? What are you both doing here? Always good to follow the orders of your superior officers. These cadets were the unfortunate victims of a Klingon ambush. Captain Taggart is dead, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. The Renown was escorting them back to Earth's space dock, but when we could not raise the Kittimer, I deemed it imperative to alter our course and assess the situation. Captain Yim, what is your status? I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system, and if they're affecting long-range communications, then they're doubly a cause for concern. Let's do this by the numbers. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the anomalies. With all three ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and formulate a course of action. The Renown has the largest science team, so I recommend we send our data there for analysis. Any questions? You're quite confident for a cadet. You remind me a bit of myself when I was an ensign. Of course, I wasn't commanding a ship back then. Let's see how you perform before you start claiming that chair full-time. You can set your ship's power levels to have a focus on attack, defense, speed, or balance. indicate traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Tachyon pulse wave, sir. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! The board!
program aboard the USS Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. I've lost contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. A notable observation. If the bridge was damaged in the Borg attack, Captain Yim may have activated the EMH to alert us. The Borg have not been seen in the Alpha Quadrant in decades. Their arrival cannot simply be a coincidence. However, I hesitate to speculate without the full data from all of the probes. I will send teams to aid the Kittimer. You will have to finish the scans. We need to know the extent of the Borg presence here. You must also inform me if you or your crew are unable to continue. The Borg evoke a strong emotional response that can rattle even trained Starfleet officers. A crew of cadets that have already survived a Klingon attack may be unable to cope. million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you.
multiple Borg Warp signatures detected. It's an invasion force. We're outnumbered. There's no way we can...
We arrived before the Borg. Now my heart can start beating again. What are your orders, Captain? Tavrell managed to establish a comm link with Willa Post, the administrator of Vega Colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. Putting her through now. Greetings, Captain. Is there something I could do for you today? Repeat, please. Your signal is breaking up. Did you see the Borg? What about... I have lost contact with Vega Colony, sir. Something is blocking all subspace signals in this area. Even our hails to the civilian ships are not getting through. There is a communication satellite nearby. It should boost our signal sufficiently to inform the freighters of the danger and warn the colony. Our hails are still blocked, sir. The Borg may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Your orders, sir. Borg are jamming up any remote signals. It's not safe to beam through that. I think I can boost the gain, though. Transwarp conduits opening all over the system, Captain. The Borg are here. Those civilian ships are right in the Borg's path. We have to help them! Captain, I have short-range communications. Long-range signals are still blocked. I can contact the planet and have informed Administrator Post of the situation. However, the Borg have already landed and are moving toward the colony. It may be more prudent to retreat back to the Renown, sir. Borg landing craft detected nearby. Captain, there are civilian ships engaging them.
main ships. You are ordered to disengage and retreat. We will cover you. Captain, the Borg have landed, and the colony won't be able to hold them off for long. I recommend beaming down to Vega and getting as many people out as we can. Choose your away team for your next mission. Your choices for who will be on your away team will grow as you recruit more bridge officers. readings, over half the planet is already assimilated by the Borg. At the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will be overrun in roughly one hour. And if that wasn't bad enough, the interference is affecting the ship's transporters. No, sir. I'll follow your lead. and we don't have any weapons. But we do have some spare armor suits for you and your officer. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Please, Administrator Post and some of the others are still there. You have to save them.
too late. assimilated me by now. What's the situation? Are you bringing more Starfleet reinforcements? I see. And it's true. Vega is doomed. A single starship cannot hope to stop this. Still, there is more to do. Many citizens are hiding in their homes. We cannot abandon them to the Borg. I know. Coles and I have been trying to get around the interference field. Thank you for tagging the people you found and getting them safely transported to your ship. No, there are dozens more hiding out in the buildings, but Colas and I have a plan. We think a pattern enhancer will do the trick. With that, we can transport the remaining citizens to your ship. But first, I'd like to offer you some equipment. Vega is, was, a trade colony, and this gear was intended to go to Starbase 65. to raise them at the first sign of Borg ships. The pattern enhancers are working, and not a moment too soon. Hear the Borg moving this way. I'll do that. How long do you think you can hold off the Borg?
Another group of civilians has beamed to the ship, Captain. everything you've done. Even though it was impossible to save everyone, those you did save will be forever in your debt. Glad to do anything I can. I was born on Vega. There's no way I'm sitting by and letting the board take it without a fight. All right, Coles, you're gonna see friends who've been assimilated. Don't hesitate. inhibitor. We need to disable that force field. The border so, what's the word? Effective? Systematic? Evil. I'm gonna go with evil. anyone they can get a lock on, Captain, but we don't have much time. We need to get back as soon as possible. We're packed to the brim with civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul on this ship. Communications are still jammed, so we can't reach the Renown or the Kittimer. The immediate problem is the civilian ships in this system. Vega's a huge trading outpost. There are always ships traveling here. We need to warn them the Borg have taken over. Possibly, but what we need to do is hightail it out of here with these civilians. 
Of course, the path to the satellites does lead away from the planet, so we could remotely reconfigure them as we leave. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Multiple probes inbound. I don't think the Borg like us hanging around. Never thought I'd wish I was back at the Academy studying for the Astrometrics final. Them, and I can't tell if they're friend or foe. A 
cube? <laughs> Guess it's our time to go out in a blaze of glory. off what we could in Pollux and sent a signal out to Starfleet. These were the closest ships. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. You have handled things well thus far. Excellent thinking on reconfiguring the satellites into warning beacons. We received the signal as soon as we arrived in the system. I will be discussing that option with the other captains here, but your priority is to protect the civilians you have on board as well as to ensure the safety of your crew. The Kittimer will return to Earth's space dock with you. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Quinn. He will have more information for you. You and your crew have done well. Coles would make a fine addition to your senior staff. Congratulations. Captain Moloch told us to get to Earth's space dock and... I think he's right. We need to get the civilians to safety. And I don't think I can handle any more excitement. <laughs>